Well, Christian, you've had some time to get back settled in with the Manitoba Moose now after your KHL season. And how are you finding things with the team here as they push for a playoff spot? Obviously, every every game is a tough, tough game. We have to get points, so you have to work work a lot and uh, no days off. No days off is right, and uh, the games have been so competitive, and the team seems to find ways to overcome challenges and, and get points. Uh, the last two games at home here against Bakersfield, not easy, and, and you find a way. What's it like to be part of this team when they're, they're so strong in these tough situations? Obviously, it's, uh, it's nice to have that, that competition in those, those games, and uh, I think that shows a lot of character in this, in this team that we can uh, win those games, and it's, it's been uh, pretty nice to be back. One of the things that this team has done is it seems like it wins almost every time at home and there's a confidence that seems to come with that. Is it fun to, to come into this building knowing that other teams are going to have to, to play their best because you guys are, are finding ways? Yeah, obviously we, we try to work hard uh, on the home games and uh, every every game, but obviously there's uh, home fans and um, home rings, so it's, it's a little bit harder to beat us here. It's been quite a season for you, uh, starting with the Jets, uh, playing a bit with the Moose, going over and playing with Jokrit, uh, coming back here again. I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, that experience in the KHL. And the fans here maybe aren't familiar with what you go through in the season. Uh, what were some of the trips like there in terms of uh, flights? You have uh, a few hours or many hours? What, are, what is it like over there? Yeah, it depends the place. Uh, we went to China too, so it was like 12, 12 hours flight. So it's it's a lot of lot of, lot of travel there. So it was it was tough uh, tough league. When you talk about the travel and, and the time zones and all of that sort of thing, does it add up on the body over the course of a season? Do you feel like you've you've been through quite a bit this year? Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's a uh, it's pretty tough to and now when I'm back here, it's uh, and the time difference here too. So it's it's been a tough tough year for me, but uh, I'm I'm pretty good now, so no problem. Yeah, and when you look back at it, uh, aside from the physical wear and tear, opportunities to learn a lot. Do you find your game has developed over the course of the season? Yeah, I think I think so. I've uh, learned to work pretty pretty hard on the ice, and uh, think uh, my uh, game with the puck has been a little bit better. Is there a, a major adjustment going from the size of the rink in Europe to playing over here, or were you comfortable with it having been here in the fall? Obviously, it's uh, little little things you have to work on when you when you come back here, and uh, but I think it's it's worked worked pretty good so so far. Lately, you've been having a chance to play with a player like Logan Shaw, who's been around a long time and uh, played in the National Hockey League as well. Uh, is there a value in being able to spend time with players like that? Yeah, of course. He's a great player and, and, uh, and a nice guy too. So it's easy to go, go and talk to him and uh, ask a little bit uh, what you uh, do better and stuff like that. So it's, it's nice to have uh, that kind of guy in the, in the play with him. I want to ask you about uh, the experience of pushing for a playoff spot and what it's like for the team to, to every day play these important games. Uh, do you think that helps a, a young player to be in that environment? Uh, yeah, uh, it's tough, tough game. Obviously, every every game is a really, really good, uh, good game, and you have to put the all all in it, all in it. So it's uh, it's gonna push you forward. Final home games of the regular season coming up this weekend against Stockton and uh, a chance maybe to say a thank you to the fans for their support this year. Uh, did you want to say anything just to, to show your appreciation for fans coming to the games? Yeah, obviously it's uh, nice to have, have uh, good fans here and uh, I love, uh, love our fans and it's, it's been a good, good year for us and um, hopefully they're going to cheer us for, uh, for the playoffs.